welcome all of you, the viewers of Pearl on Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska Koper, and we are taking you right now to, for a journey to uh, Egypt, exactly, because we are on the Skype with Xavier Besset, the who is calling us uh, uh, from the aid to the church in need. Xavier, thank you very much for calling. Nice to meet you, Maria. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm going, doing very well and I'm very happy that you are on our show calling us from Egypt because you are the coordinator of the, uh, the aid to the church in need uh, for uh, Lebanon, Syria and Egypt. And you're calling us right now from Egypt. Uh, tell us please what you're doing there. Thank you so much for having me. I'm in Egypt uh, to visit the, the local church. Part of my work is coordinating the, the projects on the ground of Aid to the Church in Need. So going to especially remote areas and areas where the church is suffering and talking to the local church and uh, listening to their needs and thinking about what we as a, as a foundation can do in partnership with them. And that leads us to the, uh, the general idea of the foundation. Uh, so the aid to the church in need, which also which operates also in Poland, uh, under the name Pomoc Kościołowi w Potrzebie. Uh, tell us about the the general idea of your foundation and what you are doing there. Aid to the church in need is a pontifical foundation, which means that it has a mandate which is defined by the the Vatican. And uh, we are working to uh, to fulfill the, the mission of the Pope in, in supporting the, the suffering church. And our mandate is, it's not like Caritas or other humanitarian organizations. Actually, we say that it's it's pastoral, which means we are supporting the, the pastoral work of the church in areas where the church is either persecuted or suffering. And where I believe the, the largest agency that focuses on supporting the the work of the, the the church in in these difficult locations. We have fortunately uh, quite a large office in Poland who do excellent work, uh, not only in uh, publicizing the situation of the, the suffering church, but also uh, uh, you know raising support from from Polish Christians to support the initiatives of uh, the the church in places where the church is suffering, such as here and in Lebanon and in Syria, which is the countries for which I'm I'm responsible for. Tell us, uh, how do you end up in those places, being an Australian, as I know, and uh, taking this, after all, very difficult position because Syria, uh, Syria that doesn't seem to be safe still, or you can you can you can prove me wrong, but um, but Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt, it's this, all those three places sounds like sitting on a bomb. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that's a that's a, a good way of describing it. It's a very complicated situation on the, the ground, and it's a, a challenging uh, working environment because of the uh, political situation, the social situation, the history of conflicts in these countries. Uh, I think we could say that now some parts of Syria are, are safe, and obviously I try to stay in just the, the safe area so as not to, to risk the, the work of the, the, the church. Uh, the situation now is a little bit calmer than it was uh, many uh, in the middle of the war. Uh, uh, in 2018, 2019, large parts of the country were retaken by the, by the government in Damascus, uh, but not, still not the entire country. In terms of how I got here, it's a little bit coincidental. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm very far away from home in Australia. Uh, I did basically like an internship with ACN in Iraq. We had a large program in Iraq after ISIS came and destroyed many Christian villages. And uh, in 2019, we saw basically a, a, the economic collapse of both Lebanon and Syria, which was linked to the a, a banking crisis, which happened in Beirut. And so ever since that time, the um, financial situation of the church has become much more challenging and poverty has dramatically escalated in both countries. So ACN, uh, who knew me from this previous internship, asked if I would be able to come and help coordinate some of the on-the-ground logistics for the projects that we run with the local church. 
And we will go to the details about this logistic and the help in the next episode. Xavier, thank you very much for sharing all this with us. And of course, uh, to you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, it is a, a wonderful opportunity to see what this organization is doing all over the world, including the fact that Poland is part of, uh, of aid to the church in need and we can participate in their actions. So stay and watch another episode and thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture. Thank you.